the StaySoft 5 demonstration video. The StaySoft 5 software is distributed as a self-extracting file, namely staysoftsetup.exe. Running this executable file, the Welcome to the StaySoft Setup Wizard window appears. Depending on the user's antivirus software installed on his or her computer, the user may be asked to allow the program to make changes to his or her computer. Selecting Next, the user has the opportunity of selecting the program's destination from the Select Destination Location window. Continue with the installation by selecting Next. That brings up the Select Start Menu Folder window onto the screen. In this window, the user may select the folder to place the program's shortcuts, with the default being StaySoft. By selecting Next, the Select Additional Tasks window is brought up. Here, the user may select and create a desktop icon. The default is selected. Selecting Next, the Ready to Install screen comes up, and the user selects Install to complete the installation process. Once the installation is complete, the Completing the StaySoft Setup Wizard window comes up, providing the opportunity to launch the software directly, or the user may exit by selecting Finish. By double-clicking on the StaySoft desktop icon, the program opens to display the title page. By selecting the Dataset option, a pull-down menu appears on the screen. A dataset is a set of input values for a particular water. All task calculations, except for the blending tasks, require a dataset for a water. A dataset either can be created by entering data via the new command on the dataset submenu, or a previously saved dataset can be selected via the open command. Selecting the new option opens the dataset input window. If the dataset input window is exited and the dataset is either incomplete or contains some invalid inputs, a notification message will appear on the screen and no subsequent calculations may be executed prior to a complete dataset input. When selecting the open option, the file name input window will appear. Once a file is loaded, the data of the relevant file will appear within the dataset input window. All the data within this window, whether new or from a previously saved file, can be edited within this window. The third command of the dataset menu option allows the user to view the current characteristics of a water by selecting the view command, resulting in the water characteristics menu to appear on the screen. With the final command of the dataset menu option, an active or current dataset can be saved to a relevant folder. Selecting the Save command will open the Dataset Save window that allows the user to save the relevant data set to a selected folder. Calcium softening using Lime Select a dataset as described in Example 1 in the StaySoft 5 manual. After entering the data into the Dataset Input window, selection of the View option will bring up the window displaying the characteristics of the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select Softening and the Softening to Desired Calcium value from the Calculations menu. Enter the specified final calcium concentration of 100 mg per litre as calcium carbonate by typing 100 in the input box and select the Lime option. Selection of the Results menu option will bring the Results After Treatment window onto the screen with values for the new state of the water and the dosage of lime required to soften the water to the prescribed calcium concentration. Selecting the Close option allows the user to update the active dataset with the present water's characteristics for future processing in the Update Dataset window. Calcium and Magnesium Softening using Lime and Soda Ash Select Dataset 2 from Example 2 in the manual. Selection of the View option will bring up the window displaying the characteristics for the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select Softening and Softening to desired calcium and magnesium values from the Calculations menu. This will bring up the Softening to desired calcium and magnesium inputs window onto the screen. Enter the specified calcium concentration of 60 mg as calcium carbonate by typing 60 into the desired calcium value input box. Enter the specified final magnesium concentration of 4 mg as calcium carbonate by typing 4 into the desired magnesium value input box. 
Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values of the new state of water and the dosages of lime and soda ash required to soften the water to the prescribed calcium and magnesium concentrations. Selecting the close option allows the user to update the active data set with the present water's characteristics for further processing in the update data set window. Select yes and then select stabilization option from the calculations menu bringing up the stabilization inputs window for the recarbonation of the present or active water. Enter the specified final calcium carbonate precipitation potential of 5 mg as calcium carbonate by typing 5 into the desired precipitation potential input box and select the carbon dioxide option. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values for the new state of the water and the dosage of carbon dioxide required to adjust the water to the specified calcium carbonate precipitation potential. Stabilizing water to a specified calcium carbonate precipitation potential using lime. Select data set 3, for example 3 in the manual. Selection of the view option will bring up the window displaying the characteristics for the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select the stabilization option from the calculations menu bringing up the stabilization inputs window for the recombination of the present or active water. Enter the specified final calcium carbonate precipitation potential of 4 mg per litre as calcium carbonate into the desired precipitation potential input box and select the lime option. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values of the new state of the water and the dosage of lime required to stabilize the water to the prescribed calcium carbonate precipitation potential. Blending two waters to a specified pH. Selecting the blend to specific pH option in the blending menu will bring the blend to specific pH input window onto the screen. Enter the desired pH value by typing 7,7 .7 into the desired pH of blending water input box and then complete the data set as provided in example 4 of the manual. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results of the treatment window onto the screen with values for the final state of the blended water and the fraction of each water required to give the prescribed pH. Determining the final state of water after blending two waters. Selecting the determine water after blending option in the blending menu will bring the determine water condition after blending input window onto the screen. Enter the number of water to blend, in this case two into the input box and then complete the relevant data for water as provided in example 5 in the manual. After the data for water 1 has been entered, select the water 2 tab and enter the relevant data for water 2. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values for the final state of the blended water. In the event of incorrect water fractions entered for the relevant two or more waters to be blended, notification messages will appear subsequently on the screen and no results will be calculated until corrected. Determining the final state of water after equilibrium with the air has been established. Select database 6, for example 6 in the menu. After entering the data into the data set input window, selection of the view option will bring the window displaying the characteristics of the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select the equilibrium with the air option from the calculations menu, bringing up the equilibrium with the air input window. Enter the partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the air by typing 0, 0,00035 or accepting the default value into the partial pressure of carbon dioxide input box.
Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values for the new state of the water and amount of carbon dioxide lost or gained by the water. Determining the final state of water after a change in temperature. Select data set 7 for example 7 in the manual. After entering the data into the data set input window, selection of the view option will bring the window displaying the characteristics of the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select the temperature change option from the calculations menu, bringing up the temperature change input window. Enter the final state temperature by typing 90 into the final temperature input box. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results of the treatment window onto the screen with values of the new state of the water. Determining the final state of water after a change in concentration due to evaporation. Select data set 8 for example 8 in the manual. After entering the data into the data set input window, selection of the view option will bring up the window displaying the characteristics of the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select the concentration change option from the calculations menu, bringing up the concentration change input window. Enter the percentage of the water that is evaporated by typing 40 into the percentage of the evaporation input box. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results of the treatment window onto the screen with values for the new state of the water. Adjusting the pH of water using hydrochloric acid. Select data set 9 for example 9 in the manual. After entering the data into the data set input window, Selection of the view option will bring the window displaying the characteristics of the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select the concentration change option from the calculations menu, bringing up the pH adjustment inputs window. Enter the specified pH of 7,2 into the desired pH input box and select the hydrochloric acid dosage option. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values for the final state of water and dosage of hydrochloric acid required to adjust the water to the prescribed pH. Determining the final state of an underground water after the three phase equilibrium is attained. Select data set 10 for example 10 in the manual. After entering the data into the data set input window, selection of the view option will bring a window displaying the characteristics of the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select the underground water option from the calculations menu, bringing up the underground water input window. Enter partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the air by typing 0, 0,00035 or accepting the default value into the partial pressure of carbon dioxide input box. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results of the treatment window onto the screen with values of the state of the water and the amount of carbon dioxide lost or gained by the water after equilibrium with the air has been attained. Selecting the close menu option will bring the final results after treatment window onto the screen with values for the final state of the water and the amount of calcium carbonate that will precipitate after three phase equilibrium has been attained by the water. Stabilization of calcium and carbonate species deficient water. Select data set 11, for example 11, in the manual. After entering the data into the data set input window, selection of the view option will bring a window displaying the characteristics of the present water onto the screen. Close the window and select the calcium and carbonate species deficient waters option from the calculations menu, bringing up the calcium and carbonate species deficient waters input window. In this particular case, because the calcium concentration is less than the total alkalinity value, only the input box for the desired calcium value appears on the screen. Enter the required calcium concentration of 40 mg as calcium carbonate by typing 40 into the desired calcium value input box. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values of the state of the water after lime dosage and the dosage of lime required to increase the calcium value to the desired concentration. Selecting the close option will bring the stabilized inquiry window onto the screen, allowing the user to recarbonate the water with carbon dioxide. Select yes and the stabilization inputs window for the recarbonation of the present or active water will come onto the screen. However, only allowing input for calcium carbonate precipitation input as carbon dioxide is used for recarbonation. 
If recarbonation of the water after lime dosing is not required, the user can simply type no to continue with the other program functions. Enter the required calcium carbonate precipitation potential of 5 mg as calcium carbonate by typing 5 into the desired precipitation potential input box. Selection of the results menu option will bring the results after treatment window onto the screen with values for the final state of the water and for the dosage of carbon dioxide required to adjust the water to the specified calcium carbonate precipitation potential. More details on the use of this program is available in the StaySoft 5 manual.